folks, Mike Dawkins from Royal Cast Anglers here with your Jacksonville weekend fly fishing forecast for the last weekend of August. Summer is ending, fall is beginning. We saw that from our weather patterns last week. We couldn't be more excited about it now. We've got some days in the mid 70s, lows coming in the 40s. We've seen our water temps tank off of these super hot uh, mid-July through mid-August water temps that were really stressful on our trout. So everything is formulating really nicely for these next weeks ahead and the beginning of our, our fall fishing uh, to be really awesome. So get ready for that. It looks like on Saturday we've got highs in the high in the 70s, lows around 41. Sunday 77 and 47, mostly sunny during those times sort of unheard of in this August time frame. These are temperatures that we would start to see, you know, somewhat in those first couple weeks of September. But as we've seen, everything is a little early this year. We had summer come early. We're having fall come early here. Last week we had a lot of precipitation. Targhee recorded up to three inches over the last week. We saw inflow increase in the South Fork of the, uh, excuse me, on the Teton, the Henry's Fork, parts of the Snake, you know, the South Fork is in a, a high tributary influence river, so we didn't see a lot of change there, but we definitely did on the Teton, the Henry's Fork, the Snake, and some of our other little tributaries that were full of water, full of cool, clean water that our trout are really liking at this time uh, of, of the year. Palisades Reservoir, 23% of capacity. It's getting pretty darn low over there. Jackson Lake's 38% of capacity. It's holding its own as well. We've seen some flow adjustments coming out of Jackson Lake Dam. We've seen some flow adjustments coming out of the South Fork of the Snake. Two in the past 10 days up there. And we've seen some flow adjustments coming out of the Henry's Fork as water, water irrigators and demand for irrigation water starts to change with some of this inflow that we've been receiving last week with the rain and all of this sort of equation and formula of what wake makes or doesn't make our water management plan work here in the summer but with that being said we're starting to see fall weather patterns cooler days cooler nights our trout friends are ecstatic with seeing their water temperatures drop and we're seeing some really good fishing the south fork of the snake we saw it drop this week or in the past 10 days to 9,500 CFS being discharged from Jackson, uh, from Palisades Dam, 11,600 CFS there on the lower river. With those flow drops, we've actually seen some tur turbidity increase in the river. That's coming from Palisades Reservoir being 23% of capacity, and it's also coming from when that water starts to shrink in, it starts to bring in some debris and some junk and some things like that. As long as Palisades Reservoir is below that 30, 25%, I would expect some increased turbidity coming through the discharge of Palisades Dam. The South Fork of the Snake has still been fishing really well. The Dawn Patrol mission with the mutants is still going on, so be out there super early, 6 a.m., 6.30, 7. Fish those water walkers, chubby Chernobyls, Chernobyl bugs, skate them on the surface, get those fish agitated, get them looking, you know, because those Clacinia stoneflies, they like skating on the water surface. Um, you know there in the early morning periods the rest of the day is filled with terrestrials It's left with some leftover PMDs with these cool cloudy days. I definitely would have some mahoganies I definitely would have some betas in my box as well If we get some weather like we did last week You're gonna start seeing those bugs start to transition more in instead of being more of a here and there Nymphing during the afternoons has been really good with small rubber legs eights, tens, twelves, some of those smaller pheasant tails, betas imitations, you know, mahogany imitations and things along those lines. But the South Fork of the Snake is still a stellar option moving into the end of August and the beginning of fall. The Snake in Jackson, 3,020 CFS being discharged from Jackson Lake Dam. That's down from 5,000 CFS as I reported two weeks ago, 4,710 CFS there on the lower river before the salt in the grays. The snake with these water drops and things getting more stable and these cooler water temps has been really good lately. Similarly, mutant stones have been out early in the morning, twitching water walkers, chubby Chernobyls, any of those foam small um, stonefly golden patterns has been really good. We're still seeing some PMDs and similarly on those cloudy days, be ready with the hecubas, those green 
gray Drake variants, like a size 12, Mahogany's, Betas, and things along those lines, because September is definitely knocking on our door. Fall is a super special time to be on the snake. It's one of my personal favorite times to be out there once some of the summer crowds and everything starts to subside. So get ready for an awesome fall on the snake, especially if we're looking at two to 3,000 CFS coming out of Jackson Lake Dam. It's gonna offer some really good fishing. Teton, 221 CFS up here in the valley, 591 CFS there on the lower river around St. Anthony. Similarly, we saw flow increase last week with the rain on the Teton. We saw water temperatures drop and we're starting to see, you know, some of that, you know, early fall fishing come out. PMDs, attractors, terrestrials, hoppers, beetles, ants, everything along those lines are going to be applicable up here in the on the upper river early morning late evenings when water temperatures are the coolest are still the most advantageous times to be out for our fish friends it's also the most advantageous times to be out outside of the general user traffic on the teton look for the teton to start transitioning a lot into its fall fishing mode here soon which can be a blast especially with the hecubas the ma mahoganies and some of those betas coming up in september henry's fork We've got around 400 CFS up there in the box, 926 CFS on the lower river. We've seen water temperatures dip below the 60 degree mark on the Aura, Vernon, and Chester area, which is a great sign to be had. We're seeing water temperatures in Warm River to Ashton there in the low 60s, the Box Canyon water temperatures are in great shape. So look for the Henry's Fork to start transitioning you know, into its fall fishing mode, we've actually had some guides here in the past couple days start transitioning a bunch of their fishing and their guide trips up there for uh, Vernon, Warm River, Box, and some things along those lines. It's still terrestrial time mostly on the Henry's Fork, especially the lower river. Hop hoppers, beetles, ants, maybe a leftover PMD and some caddis and th some things around there. So. And the other thing to keep in mind when those water temperatures start to dip on the lower Henry's Fork is we start to get a lot of weed growth that kicks out and starts to sort of let loose. So I would concentrate on Aura, I would concentrate on Vernon, some of that stuff down around Chester and some of those other things may be chalked up with salad and weeds until October. So that's something to definitely keep in mind there. The Box Canyon has still been fishing really good as similarly as Island Park Reservoir starts to get a little bit lower we're seeing some increased turbidity levels coming out of island park dam but it's still been pretty darn good dry dropper fishing hopper droppers with pertagons uh you know your your foam golden or hopper patterns with your pertagons bullet quills tungsten tactical jigs things along those lines has been really good and i would start transitioning some of those droppers and nymphs to some of the betas and the mahogany imitations as well up there uh, in the box canyon the ranch has still been really good trichos hoppers beetles the honey honey cinnamon ants have been out there haven't been a ton of people out there on the ranch we've seen those water temperatures drop we've seen a, some cooler days and some overcast god that's like a recipe for some really good late season, late summer days on the ranch. So if you're looking for the head hunting game, be up there, you know, the next time we get some of that cloud cover and it should be pretty darn good. Flat Creek in the National Elk Refuge, it's been fishing really well. It's been a little bit on the lower side, um, but we've actually, with those water temps, we've seen some really good fishing and had some really good reports with hoppers, PMDs, that weather event we had last week, we saw some mahoganies, we saw some betas, Long leaders, light tippets, hands and knees, crawling around, head hunting, that's the name of the game out there. It's still a pretty darn busy place. Uh, so I would definitely, if you don't wanna be out there with a bunch of people, wait a little bit, wait till after Labor Day when a lot of the crowds start to go back or wait for those really crummy weather days and break out your waders and your rain jacket and be out there and have a heyday on Flat Creek by yourself. But it definitely is still um, a rocking place out there. So either go during midweek, early in the morning, but those afternoons and evenings and the weekends have been busy. Yellowstone National Park, they removed their hoot owl closures. So fishing is applicable during all parts of the day that are open during the Yellowstone National Park fishing season. There's no 2 p.m. closure, which is a good sign of water temperatures dropping in our region you know, geographically. 
The fire hole Madison, I still would concentrate on the mornings when, when the water temps are its coldest. I would be ready with terrestrials there, caddis, you know, maybe some leftover PMDs, swinging some soft tackles, swinging some streamers and things like that. But I'd le let it be in the afternoons, especially with the thermal influence there on the fire hole and the Madison. The Yellowstone River is still fishing pretty darn good with some leftover drakes, PMDs, attractors, hoppers, ants and beetles. And the northeast corner of the park is still fishing really well. It's the time to be up there. The Lamar, Soda Butte Creek, Pebble Creek, uh, Slough Creek and those types of things. PMDs, caddis, maybe some betas, mahoganies, and your terrestrials, your hoppers, your beetles, your ants, and everything. So in retrospect, we've got some really good fishing options. I know I say that a lot, but with this recent weather that we just had, things have kicked into a different gear than what we normally have this time of year. So it's time to take advantage of that. Plug those afternoons and those warm afternoons with terrestrials, hoppers, beetles, and ants. Have some mahoganies, have some betas, have some hecubas in your box too because if you get out there and it gets cloudy or we have another rain event or some thunderstorms, those things will pop. So we're in that transitional period where our summer hatches are ending and our fall hatches haven't begun so you're going to have some trans, um, you know, parency between the two and translucency between the two so I would be ready for a little bit of everything. We're open 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. every day of the week here for the rest of the summer season. And don't forget, we've got the Fly Fishing Film Tour coming to the Spud Drive-In on the 16th of September. You can get your tickets in the Fly Shop here at World Cast Anglers. It's a guarantee sellout as it has the past five to six years. We're excited to see everybody. We've got the doors opening at six with some live music. Uh, from Aaron Davis and the Mystery Machines. We've got beer from Grand Teton Brewery. We've got ciders from High Point Ciders. We're gonna have some food trucks. It's gonna be a ball, so don't miss it. Once again, September 16th, Fly Fishing Film Tour at the Spud Drive-In. We'll see everybody there. So get ready for a good fit fall fishing season because it's knocking on our door right now. Thanks for tuning in. Have a safe weekend and a great weekend out on the water, and we'll see you here next week.